On tonight's episode of NXT on the USA Network, we will see a triple threat match for the NXT North American Championship. We will have the NXT North American Champion Keith Lee defending the championship against Finn Balor and Johnny Gargano in a triple threat match. Now, this will not only be for the NXT North American Championship, uh, but there's more to this match. Now, the winner of the match will go on to face NXT Champion Adam Cole in a winner-take-all match for both the NXT and NXT, NXT Championship and the NXT North American Championship on the July 8th episode of NXT. Now, of course, uh, the July 8th episode of NXT goes up against part two of AEW's Fighter Fest edition of Dynamite. So NXT's looking to put up a big show opposite that show and the winner take all match is a pretty good uh, way of doing it. I'm for one, I'm absolutely fascinated not only to see who wins the match tonight, but also who leaves as NXT's first double champion on July 8th. So talk about stakes there. I mentioned previously that the most important thing to really entice a viewer and make a viewer want to watch a show, a match, a pay-per-view, whatever, there has to be stakes involved. There has to be drama. You have to lure the viewer in somehow, and that's about adding stakes. And seeing NXT's first double champion on July 8th is a pretty good way of preventing people from watching Fight Effect over on Dynamite. Now, there is so much to break down here, of course. Uh, Keith Lee has been NXT North American champion for a while now, and to be honest, I think he's done a pretty a pretty good job. He's had great defenses against the likes of Dominic Dajakovic, Johnny Gargano, and others. Uh, Johnny Gargano, as I mentioned, is a former NXT Grand Slam champion, and he actually faced Keith Lee at NXT TakeOver in your house, losing to Keith Lee for the NXT North American Championship, but he does own victories over Keith Lee. Now, you had Finn Balor actually call out Keith Lee a few weeks ago on NXT, saying he hasn't held the NXT North American Championship, and he wants to. Uh, so I was already looking forward, to, to be honest, to a potential Keith Lee versus Finn Balor feud, so I am so down for seeing not only Keith Lee face off against Finn Balor, but adding in Johnny Gargano to the mix. So look, I mean, this match is going to be great, isn't it? I have no doubts about that. It's going to be absolutely phenomenal. Uh, it will get time. It will get a lot of time. That's the great thing about NXT and NXT matches is that these big matches, especially these title matches, regardless if they're on NXT TV or they're on NXT TakeOver, whatever, NXT matches get time. So all of these three guys in the ring at the same time competing for a big prize like the NXT North American Championship, that means that this match is going to get a whole lot of time and it's going to be a whole lot of good. Now, this NXT North American Championship match and the winner-take-all match on July 8th comes on the back of reports that Vince McMahon was unhappy with NXT, specifically their ratings and consistent losses to AEW Dynamite in the ratings every Wednesday or most Wednesdays. Now, this led to rumours that Vince McMahon could be getting more hands-on with NXT, and those rumours certainly increased last week when we saw the likes of WWE Women's Tag Team Champions Bayley and Sasha Banks on NXT last week, the winner-take-all match being announced for July 8th, and we even had some vomiting by Robert Stone last week on NXT too, and a lot of people were going, that's all very events. Now, I don't have a problem with Bailey and Sasha Banks on NXT. I really like the concept of this winner-take-all match. Could do without the vomiting, but I'm not sure this is all completely Vince McMahon. I don't know what his involvement is at the moment with NXT, uh, but many inside the company and many analysts are saying it's a matter of time, to be honest, before the fingerprints of VKM start to be all over the black and gold brand. So we'll have to see, uh, wait and see if we hear anything more about that. As to who wins, look, there could be an argument made here for all three men getting the victory here and facing Adam Cole, right? I mean, let's break it down. So Johnny Gargano, he was in fact the one that lost to Adam Cole over one year ago. And this started the reign of dominance by Adam Cole and the Undisputed Era over NXT, specifically the dominance of Adam Cole as NXT champion. So to have Johnny Gargano face him over a year later and potentially end the NXT championship reign, that would certainly be storytelling there without a doubt. Now, I don't think that will happen, though. I think that's the least likely option here. It would be a heel versus heel match. Johnny Gargano is a heel now with his wife, Candice LeRae, 
it just doesn't make a lot of sense from that point of view. Plus, we've seen it before. We've obviously seen it, Adam Cohen and Johnny Gargano face off a few times. Obviously, their matches were tremendous, five-star matches at the TakeOver matches. Um, but we've seen it before, so I'm not really sure it would draw people in as much. Plus, to me, Johnny Gargano, and people might disagree with me here, especially now that he's a heel and he's been paired up with his wife on screen, he just doesn't feel as, I don't know, hot or the momentum as he did in 2018 and 2019 on NXT as that red hot underneath babyface. Look, he was the he was the ultimate babyface in NXT, right? Johnny Wrestling, Johnny Takeover, he was he was the guy. And to me, it just seems that he doesn't have that momentum at the moment for me right now that he did have uh, a couple of years ago. Um, so to me, it doesn't make the most sense for Johnny Gargano to win this one. Now, Finn Balor, Finn Balor could easily win this one. He hasn't held the NXT North American Championship. They've made a big deal that he hasn't held that title. He was the previous longest reigning NXT champion in the brand's history until that man, Adam Cole, that's right, beat that record. So they could certainly be like, okay, the guy to end the record-breaking streak is the guy who previously had the record. That makes a lot of sense from a storytelling point of view also. Now, Finn Balor's been heavily protected since returning to NXT in terms of losses. I think he's only lost, what, twice? Maybe three times? And Adam Cole versus Finn Balor has been done once before on an episode of NXT. But I believe wasn't there, there was an interfer- we didn't even get a finish that match. There was interference from, was it Johnny Gargano or Matt Riddle or someone? Um, so... Adam Cole versus Finn Balor, winner take all match. That would be a huge match. A huge match. And could certainly go up against uh, an AEW Dynamite Fighter Fest edition over on TNT. Um, but Finn Balor has been massively protected. He's one of NXT's biggest stars. And look, his matches have been great. I really enjoyed his match with Damian Priest at NXT TakeOver In Your House. Um, but Finn Balor, I don't know. It, it just feels that something is is missing with him at the moment. Again, I don't think he he doesn't have that momentum and that big star power feel that he had when he first came back to NXT last year for me. Um, it just feels like he hasn't done a lot of note recently. I think his biggest moment since returning to the NXT brand, of course, was his heel turn. That was a great moment. The promos after that were great, but he's already a babyface again. Um, obviously a different version of a babyface. He's more of a serious or attempting to be a sort of a serious, a badass version of a babyface. But like I said, I just don't think I don't think he has that momentum that he once did. Uh, upon his return to NXT or his prior run in NXT also. Um, I think the big loss and the big thing that halted this momentum was not having the feud with Walter. That was obviously being set up for the NXT UK TakeOver Dublin event and he would have likely been in the main event there. He would have likely have faced him for the NXT UK Championship. Of course, that didn't happen and isn't going to happen for a long time due to the pandemic. Um, and that would have feud that 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 would have been great. That feud, that match, that moment in Dublin would have been spectacular, and maybe that would have really given Finn Balor the momentum of having that five star match in front of a rabid hometown crowd. That would have been the moment to really spark the new catalyst of Finn Balor getting to that back to that absolute megastar potential momentum in NXT uh, and what a moment that, that that would have been and maybe we, we still will be maybe we will see see it in the future without a doubt um, so uh, but still it could be Finn Balor that wins the match tonight um, then of course we have Keith Lee the current NXT North American champion now as I mentioned previously he defeated Johnny Gargano recently at NXT TakeOver In Your House the match was fine I didn't think it was the best match of the night but the match was fine I thought Johnny Gargano maybe got a little bit too much offense in on that match I think that kind of match needs to have Keith Lee beating the how out of Johnny Gargano I'm interested to see how Keith Lee hooks up with Finn Balor I think that dynamic could be really fun um, I mentioned how Keith Lee has had great title matches, especially against Dominic Dajakovic, but he had a good match with Johnny Gargano too. Um, but I think the main thing here is that some of his moments that he's had with Adam Cole and the Undisputed Era previously on NXT have been phenomenal. I mean, the match, the moment, sorry, that springs to mind has to be when Keith Lee pounced Adam Cole into the crowd. That still is one of my favorite moments since NXT has gone to the USA Network. That's just as a as a gif as a as a spot it was just great it was great 
And to me, Keith Lee is he's an absolute star. There's no doubt in my mind about the star power of Keith Lee and what he could be in WWE. He, without a doubt, he's a mega star in the making. His work in the ring is is second to none for me. Maybe he has a little bit of improvement to do on the mic and his all round character. That's that's probably fair. Uh, but you think back to that performance against Roman Reigns at Survivor Series last year. They had the All State in Arena, All State Arena in Chicago, absolutely rocking. The confrontation this year he had with Brock Lesnar at the Royal Rumble, the pop he got when he came out during the Royal Rumble from that from that stadium crowd was great. Uh, and to me, it, honestly, it's quite baffling how he's still in NXT at this point because he's got all the momentum in the world and. Vince Man is obviously a huge fan. We heard all those reports after Survivor Series saying that Vince Man had instantly fallen in love with Keith Lee. And like I said, when you have moments that impressive against Roman Reigns, against Brock Lesnar, they're two of the biggest stars in WWE right now, arguably the two biggest stars in WWE right now. They're not on TV at the moment, but they're two of the biggest stars nevertheless. So to have those moments and still be in NXT is, is, is a little bit surprising to me there, actually. Uh, but maybe this match and the potential follow-up match with Adam Cole is a way to facilitate Keith, Lee, uh, Keith Lee's move from NXT to Raw or SmackDown. Now, personally, my prediction, I, I think Keith Lee wins this one. I really do. I think he wins. I think he retains. And I think he faces Adam Cole in the winner-take-all match on July 8th. I think that match from a creative point of view, makes the most sense to me. I think it's a proper babyface versus heel match. Um, in terms of how does Finn Balor lose, I think maybe you have Damian Priest come out. I don't think that feud should be over. I thought the match they had at TakeOver was great. I'd like to see that match again. I think Keith Lee versus Adam Cole is a proper, proper babyface versus heel match. Um, Keith Lee can have a great match with Adam Cole, do some crazy spots. Um, but I don't think, and I will say this, this is going to be part of my prediction, uh, moving over to July 8th, I don't think the NXT North American champion will be becoming the NXT champion. I think Keith Lee wins the triple threat match tonight on NXT, but then I think Keith Lee loses the NXT North American championship to Adam Cole. Then Keith Lee can finally go to Raw or SmackDown. I think that this match, this triple threat match, and the winner-take-all match, the whole scenario is all about putting over one man. And that's not Keith Lee, that's not Adam Cole, that man is Karrion Cross. We know that Karrion Cross is the next feud for Adam Cole in the NXT Championship, just literally weeks after debuting on the NXT brand. He absolutely decimated Tommaso Ciampa like nobody has at NXT TakeOver in your house. Nobody has squashed Tommaso Ciampa like that. That's what that match was. It was a squash match. So they've got huge plans for Karrion Cross, without a doubt. They hold him in the highest regard. He's already set for an Adam Cole showdown. We had Scarlett deliver the sand timer a few weeks ago at the end of NXT. That sand timer is still ticking. We saw Adam Cole with it last week on NXT. So I think Adam Cole wins both the NXT Championship and the NXT North American Championship in the winner-take-all match. But then I think he loses both to Karrion Cross, which cements this mega push that Karrion Cross is currently on. I think if you have Karrion Cross as the NXT Champion and the NXT North American Champion, it's very similar uh, to NXT moving him to this sort of dominant character Goldberg style monster of NXT in this version of the Wednesday Night Wars right you had Goldberg like that in the Monday Night Wars I think of those iconic images of him becoming the WCW World Heavyweight Champion and holding up both the WCW and the w WCW Heavyweight Championship and the WCW United States Championship and I think that's a similar image to what NXT could be trying to do with Karrion Cross right here so I think that's possibly where they're going, or that's my prediction, or how I think uh, the way that NXT should go with this one. And then, after Adam Cole puts over Karrion Cross in NXT, we can finally see Adam Cole go to Raw or SmackDown and have his legendary run with the NXT Championship and NXT in general finish there. So... I think that's where they're going with it. Of course, they could go in a completely different direction. Finn Balor could win. They could have Finn Balor versus Adam Cole instead. I don't know. I'm excited to see it, uh, and I think the match will be great. Uh, but, of course, this is just one man's opinion. Who do you think will come out on top of the triple threat match tonight? 
on NXT for the NXT North American Championship. Do you think it'll be Johnny Gargano? Do you think it'll be Finn Balor? Or do you think it'll be Keith Lee? And then who do you think will win the winner-take-all match on the July 8th edition of NXT? Let me know in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Rest News 3652. You can do that by clicking the bottom right hand corner of the screen right now. Or if you wait a few seconds, there'll be a subscribe button at the end of this video, along with another video for you to watch. Be sure to follow us on all of our social media platforms. They're on the screen right now at 365 Wrestle on Twitter and at Wrestle News 365 on Facebook and Instagram. So be sure to give us a follow there. Thank you very much for watching, listening, streaming or however you come across this video today. And I'll speak with you again very, very soon. Hey guys, thank you for watching, listening, streaming or however you come across this video today. Be sure to click on the video on the right there to watch our next video or click the bottom there to subscribe or the bottom right hand corner. Thank you very much and I'll speak to you again very soon.